Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this integration question here. So this is a trig one that has a square on it, right? So cos squared. So to answer this question, um, first of all, we can't integrate this the way it is. We can't integrate trig um, things that have square, that have powers on them. Okay, so we're gonna have to reduce it somehow. Hopefully you remember this identity, the uh, double angle. So this should be on your formula sheet. But basically, the one we're going to use is uh, this one. So there's actually three forms of uh, cos 2 theta, okay? And we're going to use this one because our question has cos square in it. Uh, one adjustment I'll make to this is um, let's change this to cos, and instead of theta, I'm going to put 3x. So that means this should become 6x. Okay, and let's rearrange this guy. And let's start by moving this to the uh, right, uh, to the left hand side. Move the one over. And lastly, let's divide by half. Uh, I think I forgot the squares. Okay, so now we can just sub this whole thing with this guy. So equals to pi zero. We have a half out the front. And this is what we get. Okay, so now this is... Uh, a trig function that we can integrate. So if we integrate cos, we should get um, we should get sine. So I'm going to have half at the very front, and this is going to be sine six x on six, and this is going to be x, with pi, and zero. And now we can substitute and evaluate um, this integral. So sine 6 pi on 6 plus pi minus, if we substitute 0 in, in everywhere, we should get 0. Now, sine 6 pi. Uh, first of all, sine 0, we should know is just 0. And in the world of angles and trigonometry, if we add a full revolution, we will end up at the same place. Now, full revolution is 2 pi, right? So that means sine 2 pi is also 0. Sine 4 pi is also 0. Any multiple of 2 pi is going to give us 0. Okay, so that means we have um, nothing over there, right? Because this will just be 0. And so now we have just pi on 2. Alrighty, so that's just the answer for um, this trick question. Now this is uh, kind of in contrast to this next question I'm about to show you, which also has a square on it, but we're going to have to tackle this in a bit of a different way. Okay, with this we're going to use a uh, substitution. Okay, a u substitution. So we're going to say let u equals to either cos or sine. Um, after you do a lot of these questions, you kind of get a good idea on what to let it. In this case, we're going to let it equal to sine x. And you'll kind of see why this will work out. But basically, you want to go for, you want to let u equal to the one that's got a lot of powers on it. Okay, since we can't integrate trig, uh, functions that have powers on it, we want to use u instead of those guys. Okay, so let's see how this works out. If we differentiate, if you differentiate sine, we should just get cos and multiply uh, dx to the other side. Also, we should change the limits. So when x equals to pi on 4 and x equals to 0, 
u equals to uh, sine pi on 4. Sine pi on 4 is 1 on root 2. And sine 0, we should know is 0. Okay, so let's come over to the left and let's... Whoops, we have a new limit, right? So that's 1 on root 2. Uh, this is where we've got cos x dx, cos x dx, and also sine x, sine square x is, we're going to substitute with that guy. So we have u squared du, right? Which we can easily integrate, u cubed on 3. And now we can sub it in, so 1 over 3 times 1 on root 2 cubed minus, if you substitute 0 in there, we should get nothing. 1 over 3, 1 over 2 root 2, which equals to 1 over um, 6 root 2. Let's just rationalize it for the sake of it. Root 2 on 12. Okay, so hopefully I got that correct. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so yep, there's, um, those are the two different questions I have for uh, trig integration. I'll catch you in the next videos.